Okay, so I am just gonna walk you through how I make my pancakes. Um, if you have sourdough, you can use sourdough. This makes a great sourdough pancake. If you don't have sourdough, like I said, just use whatever pancake mix you have. So my sourdough is already fed and I'm gonna use a half a cup of sourdough. I'm using a quarter cup measure because that's what fits in my jar very easily without making a mess. And so I'm gonna do two of these to give me a half a cup. So my whole point is that my sourdough is active if you're using sourdough because it was fed recently. Okay, whoops, let's get that out of the way over here. So now I am just going to put in, I have about a tablespoon of flour, a little less. Now my sourdough is kind of thick. I like it to be a little on the thicker side um, when I'm doing pancakes because it just makes a nice uh, thick fluffy pancakes. And I have about a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of sweetener. My choice was monk fruit powder. Um, you could use sugar, you can omit the sweetener, you can use stevia drops, and then I have a few shakes of cinnamon. You guys know I'm kind of famous for my shakes of cinnamon or spices. I got a great course you can watch for that, how I'm always shaking things into stuff to make it more healthy. Next, I have a tablespoon of egg white and um, a little bit of vanilla. A little bit, what I'd probably say, oh, a teaspoon, good teaspoon. Now I'm just gonna stir that up. I like my pancakes to be really flavorful, so that's why I'm adding that. And just a tip about pancakes is add your soda last. This is my bake. This is my uh, baking soda, not baking powder. And I have a fourth of a teaspoon. If you find out that your pancakes are tough and they're not fluffy, it could be that you have too much baking soda. Try having that baking soda and see if that doesn't work for you. It's instantly going to start to kind of foam up. And so here is the trick. I'm gonna use my pastry bag. I'm gonna put it in a cup. This is how you fill one of these pastry bags, just like this, when you only have two hands and not a second person. Okay, so I'm gonna put that hollow in there. I'm just going to pour my pancake batter and kind of quickly, you wanna be kind of moving quickly on this, this amount will fit all in the um, pastry bag, so it's what works for us right now. now. We're gonna take this to the fry pan, to the skillet, and I'll show you how I do this right in the skillet. Okay, this is just fun for any occasion, but especially for Valentine's Day, heart pancakes. Easy, I use a pastry bag, I put my pancake batter in, use a hot skillet, my skillet is buttered, And you just make fun hearts. Make your family feel special this Valentine's or any fun occasion. Okay, that's all there is to it to heart pancakes and so I hope that you'll have fun making these and they're especially fun for Valentine's. I'll see you in the next video.